Good day, YouTube. Today, we're just taking a little bit of a peek at the latest release of OpenSUSE. Now, this is the rolling release, and it does come in three major or popular uh, desktop environment versions. So on the left-hand side, we've got the XFCE desktop environment. In the middle, we've got the GNOME desktop environment. And then on the right-hand side, we've got the very popular KDE Plasma desktop environment there. Now, a couple of things I'll just quickly mention about OpenSUSE, like anything else. So, you, it does actually come in two types of versions. So, there's something called uh, Tumbleweed, which is this one. So, it's the ongoing uh, rolling release. So, you're getting updates all the time. And then there's the point release version, which is called Leap. Uh, now, this is actually still stable, even though it is the rolling release, and it is perhaps in the community the preferred one, but uh, I won't get too much into that now. But basically, uh, having a look at the differences here, so XFCE, a little bit more of a bare bones, a lightweight desktop environment. So I should probably say on the back end, these are all exactly the same, but the front end is really what sets them apart. So you do still get all the applications that you could ever need or want. You've got your graphics, your internet, and particularly your open office or your Libra office. Uh, apps there as well and the same can be said for the GNOME and KDE Plasma desktop environments as well exact same apps there it's just a little bit easier to search on this little Windows-esque uh, start menu on the uh, the first one and the last one here but all the same basic stuff the KDE uh, variant however does have a few differences it's got a few KDE Plasma uh, specific apps such as uh, Kmail, Knote. K calc, <laughs> just all of the Bible. Basically, anything that starts with a K, it's it's probably in this in, uh, desktop environment here. Uh, let's have a maybe a little bit of a look under the hood and uh, see what's going on. Oh, actually, no. Before I do that, we'll just have a look at. I, I do love to um, have a look at the context menus. They're really quite different amongst the three. One's quite little. So GNOME, a very uh, heavy uh, in terms of RAM usage desktop environment. Uh, just has a few little options here, which doesn't seem great. I do love it when they allow you to uh, open up a terminal and uh, we've got XFCE that allows that. And we've got widgets and all, but add-in panels, all sorts of things. A lot more customizability on the KDE Plasma des uh, desktop environment side of things than you'll probably get with the first two here got to say. Um, now let's, uh, before I go under the hood, which I just promised momentarily ago, let's just have a quick look at the, the file managers just to see that it's nice and easy to use, fairly straightforward. Now we can see a bit of a difference in similarity in some of these. So the XFCE, the lightweight one, fairly bare bones the, the way that it looks, but it does work. Just right click, you can do whatever you want there. Really not a great deal to write home about. It is using the, the, the standard uh, icons uh, or the, the image sets there. I'm not really a big fan of that. And GNOME seems to be doing that there as well. But hey, you right click, you open up a terminal. That always keeps me happy. Where it does tend to diverge is on the Dolphin side of things because uh, the Dolphin file manager comes uh, as the de facto standard with the KDE Plasma desktop environment. So you will find that it is a little bit different, a little bit blue. Uh, we've got our same uh, places options on the left hand side which is nice to see right click uh, create new all those sorts of things so much of a muchness a little bit similar a little bit different but nothing that will change your uh, concept of the operating systems as a whole they really are all in the same conceptual universe and uh, last but not least uh, maybe uh, yeah let's get down to some of the nitty-gritty if you're still watching and see so the, the 5.16 kernel which comes as standard with all these uh, open SUSE operating systems here so that's that's uh, actually actually that's quite good that's that's a really almost like a latest and greatest kernel uh, latest stable kernel which is nice to see so it's really good with you know your latest latest hardware Wi-Fi cards graphics cards CPU microcode you name it it helps uh, and very very last but not least I'm going to uh, just maybe have a look at the RAM usage on boot up so XFCE about 500 meg uh, GNOME about 750 meg and uh, KDE Plasma about 500 meg as well so GNOME is usually known to be a little bit uh, a little bit more juicy, a little bit more usage of the RAM there. So, you know, keep that in mind depending on uh, the type of hardware, older or newer, that you might be using. So, thanks for watching, guys. Please leave a comment, subscribe, hit that like button, and I do hope to see all of you guys there in the next one.